Hello and welcome. In this particular video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect to my SQL data uh, to my SQL from Visual uh, Studio 2022. So let's get started. The first thing you are supposed to do, fire up your Visual Studio 2022. As it is uh, starting, uh, just uh, go to create a new project. Click on that. Let it, uh, let us wait for it to load templates. From this particular drop-down menu, ensure that you select the C sharp. Then under these categories of different um, uh, applications that you can develop just to go and look for the application called uh, windows windows form application click on that then click next um, here give you a project the project name whichever name uh, that you want in this case i'm going to give it uh, connecting uh, connecting uh, to my SQL. That is the project name I've given it. Then the most important thing in this particular video tutorial, under the location where you are going to store your application, ensure you know it. For mine, it is under the users. This folder is going to be very critical when we will be doing later connections so ensure that you mark uh, clearly where you've stored this is the part that we are going to need so click next and let us wait for it to create for us uh, the solution then here under frameworks you can uh, do it that those are the ones which i have available for now if you have others that you are interested in feel free to select them now click on create uh, let us wait for the project to be created after the loading is complete what i want you to drag a pattern from uh, under the toolbox drag it to the design form uh, after that go to the pro why did the pattern is selected go to the properties and i want you to change this uh, 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 label uh, on it to uh, to testing testing my sql connection that is what i want to to, to then hit enter resize so that the text appears so nicely there and the one thing i want to change it is uh, the font size so that you can see it clearly um, i want to go with that one but bold then increase the one to maybe 20 that one seems to be okay testing my SQL connection. With that now in place, one thing you need to do, it is to go to the tools uh, menu over here. Then you go under the NuGet package manager. And I want you to look at the manager NuGet package solutions, select that. And another thing to note as it is opening, ensure that your internet connection is there. So go under the browse uh, tab, whereby I want you to search what we call type in my SQL, my SQL. The first option we want we have here, this one is the one I'm interested in, my SQL dot data. If you click on it on the left side uh, side pane here you will see it has been highlighted as my sql data then the version but the key thing you, you the information you are getting it is that it is not installed in this particular application so 
that is what I wanted you to verify that for this particular project, it has not been installed. So, the first thing I want you to do, it is to head over to this address and all the links that I'm going to be using here, I will leave them uh, under the description below. So, go under this particular, uh, open up your browser and on your address bar, just enter that particular address there. So you will see that this is the library which is going to, which is from the new get. So it is going to enable you to connect your .NET uh, uh, languages to my SQL uh, database. So the first option I want you to go to .NET CLI. So this is the option I'm uh, interested in. This is the option I'm interested in. Copy this particular, uh, you can copy it, uh, that particular command from there. Remember I told you that you must be very careful with where you are saving um, your application to. So navigate to where you saved, my, uh, mine have saved it under documents, where the folder called the VS2022, and this is the folder I'm interested in, open it, and under this particular folder still open it. Now, on this particular occasion, I want you to type CMD, then hit enter. It will open the command prompt uh, uh, window starting from that particular application. So since I copied this particular address from here using this particular shortcut, so go to the command prompt, uh, uh, right click there. What I've done, I've right uh, clicked, then it has pasted uh, that particular command. So on your keyboard, press enter. Wait. That command will configure your application with uh, the MySQL data file. So that is, uh, it has completed successfully. Once you get here, it, it means that it has completed successfully. To verify that this MySQL data has been installed successfully to your project, just to go again here, you can see it has not changed. Now I want you to, uh, maybe you can uh, re-look re for it. Here, also type again my SQL. You enter it, it will do the search. Now, if you come back here, the version which has been installed, it is 8.0.29, which corresponds, which corresponds to the version that has been, uh, which was here on the command prompt. With that in place, uh, now you are good to connect your C Sharp application to to my SQL. So close that. I want you to double click this uh, particular pattern that you've created, and it will take you. <laughs> and it will it will bring you to the event uh, uh, click uh, but on top of this I want you to copy the following to copy uh, to paste the following command uh, to paste the following line which is using my SQL dot data uh, client copy that and paste it on your application there. After you've done that, because I pretty much have done this particular work before, one thing, so copy this particular piece of code and paste it under the click event of the pattern. So I'm going to paste it for the interest of time. And one thing I want to emphasize here, 
it is that under my this is um, using the local host here so you feel free under this local host you can put the ip address if you are on the network uh, network the environment you can put the ip address of you where you are my sql server is uh, installed the other one under this i'm using i'm using local host i have a database called school then the other my username it is root then i don't have the password remember to escape these double quotes there no which are uh, oh, which are uh, which are uh, which are press holders for the password so save your work after you've saved it you ensure that you are zamp control banner or you are my sql in this case i'm using the zamp so i'm going to start it so as you can see uh, my sql uh, already is started on my on and it is listening on for the 3305 with that started now you can go back to your visual studio 2022 and run the project let it compile and let's wait for testing okay the project has combined successfully so you can click on this particular button of testing uh, testing my sql connection so you can see it has told me that the connection is open and if you go to my local host I want to go to the local host to verify that I have got that particular database in place. So that you go to PHP my admin. Yes, it has opened and this is the database I've been talking about. You can see I have got the database set up, but we can also change and create a new one. Let us say the database name. Let us change it to my SQL test. Test. You can create that, and now after you've created that my SQL test, it, it will be empty. So go back to your Visual Studio. Uh, first, just make sure you terminate the application there. Uh, then you can uh, change this, change this to whatever your database name is. For that case, I'm copying that. Change this to my SQL test. Save it. After you've saved, go back, uh, run the application. After you run the application, let's wait for it. Click again on testing in my SQL connection. You see this pop-up window come that the connection is open. So let's see when you close this particular my SQL server. I've closed it. I want to close it. What will happen? So, 
yes, I want to close it. Having, uh, let's say, ensure that it has been closed. Yes, it has been closed. So go and eat the connection there. This time round, what is the message? Yes, can cannot open connection. So that is uh, how you basically start. Uh, uh, that is basically how you connect to my SQL database from the Visual Studio 2022. Uh, 20, uh, uh, once again, let's test the connection. We have started it. You can see this running and listening on port 330. So click on this particular day, uh, button. It tells you that the connection is open. So basically, that is how you connect to my SQL uh, server from Visual Studio 2022. It is my hope that this uh, particular video has been informative and, educa and educative. Uh, one thing that I would like uh, from you it is to give me a subscription, a like, and also share it with your friends and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that when i release new video tutorials you are the, the first one to get the notification and watch them uh, bye and thanks for watching